Good morning, and thanks for joining us today on my location station. Uh, we're going to take you on a little tour today, and we're going to look at some fish and sea creatures and learn a little bit about the ocean. So it's a beautiful sunny day down here in La Jolla, and uh, we're on our way here to the Birch Aquarium, and so we're going to go ahead and share uh, some of what we're finding here uh, on exhibit and uh, run through it with you. The Birch Aquarium is in San Diego County at the University of San Diego. And the aquarium's in a building that's just up the street from the La Jolla Pier and is part of the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. The Scripps Institution of Oceanography was founded in 1903. There's a few charts and graphs and other visuals included in this video, so feel free to pause and uh, take a moment to read some of this information if you want and move forward from there. This exhibit goes over a lot of information in a pretty simple way for the most part. This exhibit focuses on Southern California, which is you know where this aquarium is located, and it talks about uh, basically the Pacific Ocean. And what's cool about this exhibit is uh, we get to see the fish, but we also get to learn a little bit about the environment the fish live in uh, naturally, and then also you know how they live amongst uh, people and other things that change uh, outside of their control. Uh, so ecosystems, marine habitats, tide pools, coral reefs, uh, kelp forests, mangroves, lagoons, uh, all these are part of uh, the ocean community and uh, the features that uh, you can find at the seafloor. So as we come inside the exhibit, uh, the, the light is lowered uh, compared to the, the bright sunny day outside, which enhances uh, the, the brilliance of some of the, the fish and the coral and, and the tanks. Oh wow, and jellyfish are part of the Pacific, and uh, here's an awesome display by jellyfish. This exhibit takes into account uh, man-made features that are part of the ocean uh, communities now. So for example, pier pilings. Uh, that hold up the piers that we walk on typically and enjoy. Sea life basically clings to the pier pilings and so you have kind of its own little ecosystem right there. So uh, a great model for uh, how that works. San Diego pier pilings are home to Sargo, gray sharks, half moon, sea perch, leopard shark, yellowfin, croaker, and a number of other fish. Southern California has a number of sea canyons and in the sea canyons there's a variety of fish and creatures as well. So you can find green abalone, giant kelp fish, keyhole limpets, lavender, sculpin, butterfly fish, sea fans, and rockfish. San Diego Bay is in Southern California and it's home to top smell, to perch, sea cucumbers, round stingrays, and a number of other sea creatures. And a big part of this exhibit uh, focuses on the ocean floor, the sea floor uh, for Southern California and greater areas, but definitely Southern California. So you get to see things uh, from north of Santa Barbara down to uh, Tijuana, Mexico, and then basically out from the coastline to the ocean where uh, you can actually see uh, the different shelves and the different uh, levels of depth of the canyons and the ocean floor. So. Pretty cool stuff. Um, if you uh, do anything with boating or surfing, this is probably some really fascinating information that might uh, translate to what you experience out in the ocean when you're out there uh, enjoying your hobby or working. You know, what's interesting is you can see where uh, rivers, which you don't really see on the land side of the model, but you can see where there's uh, basically breaks in the different shelves that get deeper and kind of carve out. and in a lot of ways, a lot of those are from waterways that have, you know, basically worn through uh, at a different rate. So, pretty neat stuff there. Uh, this model also uh, includes places like Catalina, uh, which is an interesting feature when you see it basically from the water down. And also it, it gives you insight to Cortez Bank, which is known for some interesting ocean activity.
And here's a little segment that shows the feeding time for some of these smaller fish. Another focus for the exhibit uh, here in, in 2014, the topic of coral reefs and how they're affected by different changes in the environment and how coral reefs today are impacted. And so it talks a little bit about that as you get to enjoy uh, looking at the brilliant colors that come off of these reefs that they have here. Um, in some cases, I, they've propagated reefs to create them and, and grow them as well. There was quite a bit of tension put to the greenhouse effect and global warming. And seahorses. Uh, the exhibit had seahorses. It's hard for them not to make you happy uh, just by looking at those little guys. So uh, that's a fun one as well and uh, pretty colorful. What's cool about seahorses is they can change colors to avoid uh, the detection of predator fish such as tuna, snappers, rays, crabs, and seabirds. Check out these tiny seahorses. Seahorses have tiny fins on the side of their heads that help them with steering and balance. Uh, their tail fin provides propulsion while the dorsal fin helps with that forward momentum. And the sea dragon we came across is one of the most brilliant creatures uh, of the exhibit. And as you go through the exhibit, uh, at, at one point you basically end up outside where they have some artificial tide pools. And uh, these little tide pools are sophisticated enough where they actually have water flowing in and out, uh, trying to mimic what uh, tidal flows would, would be like for a tide pool. And so the creatures inside here uh, have a lot of elements to make it as real as possible, and which makes it uh, also very real for the patrons of the exhibit. These kind of tide pools and similar tide pools, you're still able to find these uh, in, from Mexico to California in different locations. And so uh, I encourage you to go out there in the world and uh, check out some natural tide pools as well. So thanks again for joining us at my location station and be sure to tune in for more videos of new locations. Subscribe today, share, share a video with a friend and uh, thanks for the support.